welcome back. So today's video is going to be this, uh, what I was calling my dragon eye, because it kind of reminds me of like what dragon skin would be if dragons were real. Sure, why not? Definitely not an everyday look. If you guys are interested in how I got this look, please stay tuned. Right now, all I have done are my eyebrows, um, just because I'm not gonna do my base or anything um, on camera, because I'm pretty sure this eye look is gonna take a while and some people complain that my videos are too long. I did play around with some stuff on the back of my hand, um, like different green combinations and things that I was really liking. So um, that's a basis of what I'm going to do on my eyes. I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm just gonna kind of make it up as I go. First, I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Normally I would use a paint pot, but I'm going to use a colored base, so I don't wanna put down um, I don't wanna put down a nude paint pot and then pile another white color over it because it'll just be too thick. I am going to use tape today. Um, I'm going to do like a cat eye shape with eyeshadow instead of like typically a wing. That's what I think anyway. Maybe I'll add a wing, we'll see. So I'm going to take a small piece of scotch tape, nothing too big, just like this. I'm going to place it on the back of my hand to remove some of the tackiness of it. I'm gonna pick it up and place it down. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna place it. Typically, you'd place it, right? It'd wanna be right on this line so there was no space. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place it a little lower down. So again, I'm going to encapsulate my eye with eyeshadow, yet make it into a wing coming from that lower lash line out. So I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna line it up the direction I would want it to go. And I'm gonna leave a little space between my lash line and this piece of tape. I'm gonna shut my eye a little because again, since I have hooded eyes, the typical rules don't work for me. So there we go. Can you see? I have this space right here. Now let's just match them up, make sure that they're the same. First I'm gonna to want to lay down a transition color. I'm gonna start with my MAC 224 and Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. I'm just going to put this in my transition color, which is basically when your eyes open, for hooded eyes too, I mean, right here. Windshield wiper promotions back and forth. It shouldn't be a huge color payout, you're just wanting to put a shadow down, so when you place other shadows on, you start putting in that crease color, they're easier to blend. I'm gonna keep my color switch on hand. I love this thing. And um, some of these brushes look really dingy because I was mixing browns and greens with them yesterday, so pay no attention to that. It, um, I did just wash my brushes the other day. Now I'm going to go in with a cool color. I'm gonna take Barcelona Beach on my MAC 217. I'm gonna dip it in there, and I'm going to really focus it in that crease and slightly above it. Not too much higher, but right there. See that? So when I open my eye, see how this, it like eats it? I'm gonna wanna try to bring it up a little more in like a arch shape, you know, just right in this area. Take it all the way over that tape because this is gonna help build that cat eye shape that we want. Take a clean fluffy brush. This is my Morphe 505 and go back and forth. Remember, be patient in this look because this is gonna be lots of blending. We don't want any harsh lines on this. So the other day when I was playing with colors, swatches on my hand, I was putting it over a black base, but I actually think I like the look of it better with a white base, but I want it to go gradient. I want it to go from darkest to lightest up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a black eyeliner right at my lash line, and then the rest is, of my lid is going to be a white base. First, I'm gonna take this NYX Jumbo Pencil, and I'm gonna leave a little space on my lash line where I'm gonna go back through after I have this down and draw through with a black coal liner. So make sure you take it all the way into the, into the corner. It does not have to be perfect because we are going to blend it. It's just a base. I do wanna take that all the way to the tape. Okay, now I'm going to take the Sigma P86 and I'm just, it's a pointed little precision brush. I'm just going to blend that white out. We blend it out. Next, I'm going to use this um, MAC Feline pencil and I'm just going to draw a line right on my lash line. Just like that, kind of leave this little dot. I mean, if you have really bad hooded eyes, don't jam it all the way into that corner because then you're gonna lose the light and you're gonna make it dark. It's gonna close off your eye a little. You could take, and I'll show you, 
their black bean jumbo pencil and it's really big so you're not going to want to draw it directly on your eye but you can take um, a slanted brush or a straight small definer brush and just go over your eye area right there. Oh, I'm just gonna kind of like blend it, try to like do little wrist flicks to blend it up into the white. I'm gonna clean off my 217 and my color switch and I'm going to pick up Max Kelly Green. Well, it's just Kelly. Uh, this is a pro color, you need to get it at a pro store or I think maybe you can order it online, I'm not quite sure. And I'm going to take this in my crease. Just, you know, it's gonna help blend in that white and it's going to add some green to my eye. Again, this is gonna take some patience because we're building the color. We wanna build it slowly. So each time when I open my eye like this, see how this part disappears right in here? Keep your eye open and then bring that shadow a little higher above to make sure that you get to see all these shadows you're gonna work so hard to create. Like that. Don't worry too, this is gonna look like crap until you're all done. Keep the faith. Again, take a clean blending brush and blend. Blend that top line. I'm gonna use my electric palette, my Urban Decay electric palette. I'm going to mix these two colors, Fringe and Freak. Um, the, the mixture of them together makes a beautiful green that I really like. So I'm gonna clean off my 217, and first I'm going to start with Fringe. Clean into Fringe, and I'm going to start going over that same area, that same green that we just put down. Typically neon colors are harder to work with in general because um, instead of just being 100% pure pigment, they're mixed with white. And white can be difficult to work with sometimes, it can be patchy. Now I'm going to dip into Freak, which is this color, this green right here, on that same 217 brush. Now I'm going to layer that directly over that blue color I put there. And do little swirling motions. Do you see how it's turning this into like a really pretty really pretty green now from this blue that it was. I'm gonna take a little more of that NYX Jumbo Pencil in white and really just focus it right now on the center of my lid. I mean, I want the whole thing to be really vibrant, but especially the center. I'm gonna take my MAC 242 brush and I'm going to pick up some of that fringe and I'm gonna pack it all over my eyelid. Take it all the way up until the crease. Sometimes it's helpful too if you go like this to make sure that you're getting the color all the way on the lash line. Now, same thing that I did in my crease, I'm going to pick up this freak color and I'm gonna pack that, layer that over top of that blue color. I never know until I'm editing how true color the camera picks up, especially with days like the sun setting behind me right now when I film it this time. That light coming in is really orange and so it messes up the balance on the camera. I'm going to take my Sigma, this is my E25, and I'm going to focus that in the crease of just with no product going back and forth, just blending. I'm going to use some glitter, which is like the herpes of the makeup world because this stuff, I mean, there's no getting rid of it on your face sometimes and that super sucks. I mean, I'll be finding glitter on my face for days, I'm sure. For using glitter on my um, eye, I never use a loose pigment or glitter without uh, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and glitter glue. Squeeze some onto the back of my hand. I'm going to use my ring finger. I tap it in there and then I'm gonna place it all over my mobile lid. So right where the crease is and down. And this stuff always reminds me of spirit gum. If you've ever worked with that, it's kind of like you wanna tap it until it gets a little tacky. For the glitter today, I'm going to use this Zodiac glitter from Lime Crime in the shade Taurus, which is this beautiful uh, green with like a gold reflex. I really like this glitter and I've actually never used it for a look. I'm not big on glitter. I sometimes see these things that I love and then I just never pull the trigger. I'm gonna use a different flat shader brush from my MAC 242. This is just like that, but I don't wanna get glitter on my MAC 242 just because glitter drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus just to dampen it. And I'm gonna pick up some of the glitter that's in the lid here and I'm just going to start packing it over where I put that glitter glue. I'm gonna remove the tape. 
I'm gonna show you a little trick I use to clean up glitter fallout. I'm gonna uh, take a piece of tape on my two fingers and I'm gonna go on my under eye area. This is why you want to do your eyes before you do your foundation. Real quickly, I'm gonna do my base off camera and I'll come back to finish my eyes. Ooh, that was fast, huh? <laughs> okay, so I haven't done my highlighter. I'm gonna do that after I finish the bottom of my eyes. What I am going to do is take some um, MAC Blanc type on my MAC 252 and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to go just right underneath my eyebrows. I like this brush because it's bigger, even though it's used for precision, I'm using it for precision work. It blends it really easily. See where this line is coming down? I'm gonna bring shadow to connect this. So it looks like one big fail swoop. I'm gonna do that is the same shadow that I had put up here. So actually, instead of using a small detail brush, I'm gonna really wanna smoke it out. So I'm going to use my MAC 217 again, dipped in the MAC Kelly, and I'm going to start on the outside of my eye, and I'm just gonna smoke it over. So I'm gonna make a weird face while I'm trying to stretch my eye, because you guys know I won't go on my eye. I feel like a super evil villain. Like, like what is that, the Riddler? Sea green? People say that the MAC 217 and the Sigma E25 are the same brush, and I couldn't disagree more. I don't think they're anything alike. I don't even think that this is natural hair. I think this is synthetic. It doesn't look like natural hair, and it doesn't feel like natural hair. So they would be completely different anyway, but even the shape. Anyway, I'm just gonna clean off my Sigma uh, E25, and I'm just gonna go and blend that a little more. With nothing on it, I'm just gonna go back and forth over it. Just try to keep softening up that little line. Now we're going to take um, fringe. I'm going to layer this again on top. And this one you really wanna try to work up in this area. Now we're gonna go back over with Freak. Take out my pencil brush. Uh, this is my MAC 219 and I'm really gonna go back and forth over these colors. I'm gonna go in my waterline on my bottom with this loaded. This is Urban Decay 24-7. I'm gonna tight line the top with my Ardency In black eyeliner. I'm gonna go in the corner and highlight. I want something that's a little light reflective, but not over the top, so my go-to highlight is always Max Shroom. Taking that on my shading brush by Real Techniques, and I'm going to focus that on this inner corner, kind of flick it into that green. Some finishing touches. Um, I, when I think of like a dragon, I think of like yellow, yellow little eyeballs. So um, I have two colors that I love for mixing with green. Um, this one is discontinued, but you can find them on, I think, Amazon. I will link it below. This color is called Fire Opal by Bare Minerals. It's one of their loose pigments. And then also, I really like this OCC. This is one of their loose colors in Flicker. I'm going to pick up a small amount of that on the slanted uh, shader brush that I used and I'm gonna run this first right under my pupil. See that color? Try to focus it on the middle of your eye like that. You see how it adds just like a little hint of something? Focus the majority of it on the middle of my pupil and I'm just gonna drag it out to the corner. Now I'm gonna do some mascara, guys. On the bottom, I'm going to do my black blink eyelash primer. I forgot to curl my eyelashes, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. I'm not gonna rest it against the glitter. I'm just going to put uh, my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill on the top here. So for this look, I'm gonna to wanna to wear more cat-shaped eyelashes that are short in the front and get long as they go out. Even though I have encapsulated my eye and it is kind of like making it look more round, I still have it in a cat shape. So I don't wanna wear something like House of Lashes Siren because that's not gonna give me the effect I want. So I put some Duo Dark. Um, I'm wearing House of Lashes Temptress. Now when my eyelash glue is drying, I'm going to highlight and do my lips. I typically like really cool highlights um, given my skin tone, but given there's some gold reflects in this, I'm going to use my Becca Moonstone and uh, 134 Makeup Forever Fan Brush. I'm gonna tilt this in there and I'm just gonna brush it on the top of my cheekbones. A little on the bridge of my nose, for Cupid's bow. Now I haven't decided what I wanted to do with my lip. I was thinking at first like a really bright, bold red because that would really play off the eyes, but with the glitter, 
I might kind of look Christmassy, so I think I'm just going to do a nude look. This Tom Ford nude, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Tom Ford nude, blush nude uh, over my lips. I feel like this might need a gloss over it. I'm not sure. Let me go actually brush my hair and I'll be right back. So that is it guys. Um, if you're interested in what I have on for my base, it, my base steps were um, very simple. I did the same thing that I did in my work makeup look. Um, I just added a different highlight and a different color blush. I'll list all the products I use in the description bar below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!